Lisa, thanks very much. The state legislators, they're discussing the nursing shortage today, trying to come up with a plan to get some extra cash in the pockets of healthcare professionals and do it as soon as possible. Samantha Boyd joining us now live from the Capitol with more on this. Sam, what was the result of the meeting today and how are nurses that you spoke to responding? Yeah, Bob, the House and Senate Public Health Committees heard from DHS today on retention and recruitment efforts for this nursing shortage. But as you mentioned, I did speak with people who were in the nursing field. I talked to faculty at UA Little Rock's nursing school. And it's interesting because from what they say, there's not necessarily a lack of interest for students wanting to go into nursing. They say it seems like just as many people as ever are wanting to get into this industry. But they think first off, one of the problems is having enough faculty to teach them. The faculty shortage leads to a nursing shortage and I think that also just the work involved in being a registered nurse is very, very challenging, very, very stressful. Sloan Davidson and Joanna Hall, registered nurses who left the hospital room for classrooms at UA Little Rock. They say there's several issues within the nursing industry to address as the state takes a closer look at where to start. After they graduate, keeping them in the workforce. I think that our health care facilities need more support um, from the state or just to be able to maintain the level of support that nurses need. On Monday, Department of Human Services Christy Putnam and Deputy Secretary Janet Mann told legislators about the $5,000 bonuses that nurses will be eligible for as of this Friday as part of the state's retention plan then a $5,000 bonus for new nurses as part of the state's recruitment plan. We hope that this will be one measure to help us retain our nurses and recruit additional nurses and maintain them while um, everyone is um, working on a permanent fix or a pay plan. More money, both Hall and Davidson agree, certainly also helps for new and longtime nurses. Back in May, Arkansas approved $20 million under the Align Grant to assist 19 Arkansas higher education institutions in training more nurses amid a nationwide shortage. Almost a million of that went to UA Little Rock. I think a lot of it just goes back to how do we sustain the really good efforts that have been put forth with Align. I think that the, the intention there and the kind of the initial push is fabulous, but how do we sustain that going forward? Now, another part of the discussion today in the committee meeting was also travel nursing. That became kind of the thing as a result of the pandemic because of federal money. Nurses can go around to different hospitals around the country for weeks or months where they're paid more than they typically would be working at a hospital in state long term. So the state also discussed how to be competitive with that. And again, it sounds like permanent pay plans and increase in the permanent pay plan is an option for that. They say this is going to be an ongoing discussion both behind the scenes and then in meetings like we saw today. So, of course, we'll keep following this reporting live in Little Rock, Samantha Boyd, KRK4 News.